How's it going, guys? Uh, I'm Andrew, and today we're going to be talking about wetsuits, primarily spearfishing uh, slash free dive wetsuits, open cell suits, that is. Uh, preventive uh, maintenance, uh, care, whatnot. Let's talk about it. It'll be fun. Sweet. So, uh, when it comes to spearfishing and free diving, most of the time you're going to be using an open cell suit. Uh, usually you're going to find them, they make them now 1.5, 3 mil, 5 mil, 7 mil, and then anything thicker than that, you might as well throw some blubber on. Uh, but anyway, um, give you guys a quick run through. Let's check some, some suits out here. Um, this is actually our Nautilus Ombre Pro Camo. This is a 3 mil, and you'll notice uh, this suit is open cell on the inside. And what the heck is open cell? Well, quite frankly, it is neoprene in its raw state. Neoprene is a foam. And a wetsuit consists of that foam with a jersey, uh, a jersey on the outside, and usually in some suits they have jersey on the inside. This would not be an open cell suit because it's not the neoprene in its raw state. It makes a suit less stretchy because you have uh, two jerseys on it instead of just one. Some wetsuits actually do not have any jersey on them. So uh, that makes them really stretchy but extremely fragile. Um, in any case, uh, um, a lot of people call me and they buy one of these suits and to us it's common knowledge but to some people it's not. They're like, hey, uh, Andrew, how the heck do I put the suit on? And they're, what they're trying to do is, well, basically, they're trying to put this thing on dry. And, and uh, that's not a very easy thing to do. And that's how you break and tear these suits apart. So what you got to do is you got to lube yourself up to put on this suit, uh, yourself or the suit. So what we recommend is using some hair conditioner uh, works pretty well. You mix it up with a little bit of water. So what you're going to do is you're going to get the... Uh, water mixture and conditioner mixture. If you get a bottle, you probably want to do about 20 to 30 percent conditioner, the rest water. Shake it up and what you're going to do is you're going to grab the wetsuit, you're going to slosh it around in there, the more the better, <laughs> as, uh, as they say. Uh, you're going to close off one end, you're going to close off the hood, and you're going to close off the uh, basically both arms and the hood. You're going to just slosh it around. You know, make sure you get it everywhere, make sure it goes into the sleeves. Then you're going to drain it out. Make sure you when you drain it out, if you're on a boat, you don't do it on the boat. Uh, it's not a good idea. You're going to slip around. If you're doing it by a pool, don't do it where people are walking through it. Take, you know, go to the side so people don't slip and, uh, and uh, biff it out there in the, uh, on the boat or, or by the pool. Also, try to use a uh, hair conditioner that is biodegradable. You don't want to contaminate our oceans and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. And then after you're done with that, what you're going to do is make sure you put the beaver tail buckle on the outside. Just like that, you're going to get one arm in, second arm in, pass it up over your head, and back on. It's going to slip right on. It's going to feel awesome. It's going to feel like a jelly skin. It's, gonna, it's really cool, really nice. Uh, the beauty, beauty of it is that you can move inside of your own suit. So it, some suits, if it's uh, jersey on the inside, it tends to stick to your hairs uh, on your skin. So open cell, when you move it up, it just moves. So you move inside the suit, and you truly... Uh, free, free to move around however you want, which when it comes to free diving is very important because comfort is huge. Can't relax if you're not comfortable. All right, as far as the pants go, it's going to be the same thing. Open up the pants, pour it up in there, all over there, seal both ends, slosh it around, um, you know, let it uh, drain somewhere where no one's going to slip on it. Uh, and if you drain it into the ocean, make sure you use biodegradable. Uh, a conditioner or something that's uh, environmental friendly. Uh, afterwards, <laughs> they're pants. Put them on uh, one leg at a time. Uh, when you're done with that, uh, a lot of people, uh, they don't, uh, they've actually done the mistake of letting the suit dry. Let's say we're done, day's over, caught our fish, caught no fish, but we still had a good time, who knows, whatever. Um, what you want to do is, you never want to let the suit dry uh, inside out like this. What happens is, uh, the neoprene will fuse together. It fuses together. And then when you go to open it, it tears the suit apart. You have to use warm water to kind of slowly work it out. So when you're done, uh, when you're done diving and you take your suit off, uh, also make sure you're very careful with your nails because the open cell of this foam is very sensitive to nails. When you grab it like this, you'll just tear the suit right apart. So try to use the palm and uh, your skin instead of your nails. Uh, you're going to basically flip the suit inside out. Okay. Flip that suit inside out, and then you're just going to let it dry uh, somewhere. Don't leave it in the sun uh, too long. It's not a good idea because it is neoprene. It's not very good to leave it in the sun cooking out there. It dries pretty fast anyway. And once it dries up, you can flip it back around and let the other side dry up. Same thing with the pants. 
okay? And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you also want to make sure that you hang it. Uh, I personally, you know, you can hang it maybe by the inside of the hood. Let it dry that way. Uh, some people hang it, uh, you know, uh, it really depends how you want to do it. You can just kind of like fold it over over something that has a smooth surface. You don't want to use something that's ragged or anything like that because it will tear the open cell foam. Um, and that's pretty much it. And if you're ever going to travel with a suit, don't fold it like a t-shirt. A lot of times people will fold the suit like this, like a t-shirt, you know. And that forms creases, forms creases in the neoprene. You're going to get all these creases and it'll look like crap. So what you want to do is, you can fold the arms, of course we're, let's flip it back over, let's say it already dried up, flip it back over, here you can scratch and tear all you want, it won't, it won't get damaged because of the jersey fabric, uh, so that's why we like to use a jersey fabric on the outside for spearfishing since we're usually huddled around rocks, wrecks, bottom reefs, coral heads, etc. Anyway, this is the proper way to to store your wetsuit for traveling purposes, cross the arms, beaver tail buckle, and you're going to roll it. You're going to roll your wetsuit, just like that, and you're going to avoid creases from forming. Same thing with the pants. You don't want to fold your pants, man. It's not a good idea like this. You're going to form these nasty creases. So, you grab your pants, you can fold it here, following this stitching, and then you're going to basically just roll it up. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. And boom, there you go, now you're ready to travel. No creases. Take care of your wetsuit, it'll take care of you, last you a couple years. Depends how often you guys get out there. I've had my wetsuit probably about two years. What also uh, tends to happen with neoprene is that the foam, the foam starts to thin out if you're diving at, a, at depth constantly throughout the day. Uh, so over the years, a 3 mil suit like this might turn into a 1.5 mil suit maybe after a year or two. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, Aside from that, I mean, that's pretty much it on wetsuits. Sometimes also uh, suits like this that have integrated hoods. Uh, make sure you always have water between your ears and in between the neoprene so you can equalize. Uh, what a lot of people will do is they'll heat up a, a pin uh, and put, poke a hole where your ears are. And uh, you want to heat it up so it cauterizes the neoprene and cauterizes the uh, jersey fabric. If not, it'll just rip it up. It won't be good for you. So that's pretty much, uh, pretty much wetsuit care in a nutshell. <sighs> Hope that was fun, and uh, take care of your gear, guys. We'll be posting more stuff as always. Uh, mad love to everybody out there. Catch you later.